On today's episode of Arguing Art, we are going to discuss rhythm. And you might know it as something that when you get the blues, it'll do a million dollars worth of good for you, but it's also a principle of art. From the intro, you might have recognized I quoted the Johnny Cash song, Get Rhythm. I wonder how we're going to talk. actually recognize that. You know, that would be interesting. If you did, post a comment. If you didn't, post a comment. I think it's good either way. Yeah, arguingart.com. Mm-hmm. Um, you could comment on YouTube, too. Yeah. But you should yeah. go to arguingart.com. That's where the real meat of the conversation is. Plus there's articles and more. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Check it out. Okay, so Micah, what is rhythm? Rhythm, in reference to our discussion, uh, again, this is the seven or eight principles of art. Okay. We'll cover all eight. Um, rhythm is, well, I think the best analogy is, again, a musical analogy. Uh, you know, you got the, the rhythm, the repetitive, like, bop, 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 That's a rhythm, right? Well, when you see elements on a piece that uh, are fairly evenly spaced and repetitive, I mean, you can achieve that sense of rhythm, that do, 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 do. Maybe they're loops, maybe they're people. Okay. Uh, that are evenly spaced, or I shouldn't say evenly because it's not necessarily exactly uh, equidistant between the different elements, but, but it has that sense of rhythm, that sort of flow to it. Okay. Um, and don't confuse this sense of flow with the, the flow that we could talk about with harmony, because you can have a very varied... I should really put a different word in front of that. Sure. Uh, you can have much a varied... varied Mm -hmm. a, a varied work that has a lot of variety that still has a rhythmic flow to it. Excellent example. You probably know what I'm going to say. Okay. Pollock? Yes. Pollock. Ah. Pollock is an <clears throat> awesome example of, of, of rhythm. And I think most people that don't like uh, Pollock is because they don't understand the rhythm. If you look at those lines that he has in there, there is a incredibly... Um, consistent uh, structure of those shapes, of, of those lines. Um, it's just most people kind of just look at the piece and then go, oh, I, my three-year-old could do that and then walk away. Well, you know <laughs> what? Your three-year-old can't. And you know what? Neither can you. Because his application of the paint is so incredibly um, structured. Even though it doesn't... It, I mean, you got to look at it to realize it, but... Uh, there is a mathematical term. I'm not a logic person, so I don't math, you know. But there is math a ma logic, not yeah. philosophy logic. Right. Yes, there is a math logic uh, term for the uh, we call it the golden uh, golden spiral. Okay. In art, it's a mathematically um, perfect spiral. Okay. And you see that a lot in um, in in nature, like conch. Is it conch shells? Uh, it, you know, like sure. sea, so certain sea, she sea shells, um, usually sold by Sally by the seashore. Uh, and a lot of things like those, uh, in the flow of um, certain insects or birds' wings, you see a lot of these mathematical equations that, that uh, show a perfect movement or a perfect shape in nature. Well, uh, Pollock had a lot of those. I mean, his, okay. his work, uh, most of his work is mathematically perfect. Which for someone to just like slap down paint and do is crazy. You, you just can't do that, you know? Sure. You know, uh, another interesting, I think interesting tidbit about Pollock is if you look really closely at a lot of his paintings, and I don't know if you know much about Pollock's life. If you don't, watch Pollock with Ed Harris. It's a great film. Okay. Uh, but he was a heavy drinker. He was an alcoholic. And he was a heavy chain smoker. And, if you, at the, and the, his pieces are massive. Um, so he would actually walk on his... On walk on his canvas as it'd be laid down and throw his paint down. But you can find a lot of cigarette butts in his paintings. Really? Because you just toss them to the side and they get covered in paint and there they'd stay. Just leave them be. Mm hmm Okay. Anyway, that's getting off of uh, rhythm, but think of rhythm like that. Think of it in a musical sense uh, to a certain beat. Okay. What is the benefit? What does rhythm do for a work? Well, it does create um, a similar feel like harmony does without having to, uh, without having to have the same elements. Okay. And it's naturally appeasing to the eye, so it does give you a sense of uh, beauteousness. Um, 
It helps with your uh, with achieving symmetry. Um, if you've got a lot of elements that you want to place and you want it to be placed well, uh, rhythm is a great way to uh, achieve sort of a flow and an, a good uh, feeling in your background. So instead of like tree, 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 okay. you go tree, 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 tree. Okay. It just, it feels more... Let's say more like a composition. Okay. I think that's the best way to put it. You know, you may look at a piece that would feel underdeveloped. I, uh, that's what I mean by feels like a composition. feels like a finished work of art. Okay. I wonder if that ties in with, like, literary works, where you have the rhythm of your sonnets yeah. and different poetry. Yeah. Um, I can definitely see the that. The 575 of a haiku. Is it 575? Yep. Uh, there's m multiple versions of haiku. Really? Yep. So anyway, that rhythm <laughs> causes, I think, I think there is. causes the feeling of uh, relaxation you get with Exactly. Okay. You know, it's the same in, um, I, I think rap is another good example where you do have a rhyming scheme at the end of each um, line, but there's a, a cadence to the words often. There's uh, internal rhyming schemes within a line. I mean, that's all a sense of rhythm. Okay. And you can apply those things to fine art. So. Well, I think I that pretty well yeah, I, I mean, that covers what rhythm is. It, it, is um, it, it is simple to explain. It may be harder to actually see. Um, you know what? Maybe, the, maybe we should issue a challenge. Okay. Let's, let's say uh, if you've watched this and you, you want to help illustrate it uh, a little bit better for people, why don't you post links to some paintings that you like or some works that you like that show good rhythm sure you can leave a link in the comment section or there's a convenient submit button at the top oh, of our yeah, page that's a good point you can click click the drop down you can send us text pictures links even video clips that you've linked yourself to mm -hmm. if you want to out argue us on video you can do it yeah or oh. you can try to do it no they probably can't <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, okay, so that's Rhythm. Thanks for joining us. We'll come back with more on our series of the principles of art. I, what is the next one? I got my cheat sheet right here. Proportion. proportion. We'll cover proportion and scale. That's that's a easy one. Uh, but there's a lot that you can do with it, so hopefully that'll be a good, good topic. Yes. Okay, leave a comment, and thank you for joining us.